the Boeing 737-800 shines as the best-selling commercial aircraft variant showcasing Boeing's exceptional capability to deliver a superior flagship model. Since its debut, it has captivated airlines around the globe, drawing in substantial orders and establishing itself as a fundamental asset in their fleets. So why is it so popular? How is its future after Boeing's crises? Let's find out in today's episode. Before finding out the reason for its popularity, let's take a look at its history. The Boeing 737 is one of the best-selling commercial aircraft in aviation history, first introduced in 1964. The first model launched about 50 years ago, the 737-100, along with the 200 variant, had the first flight in 1967, serving the demand of small and medium airlines. The 737 quickly developed in the generations, including classic variants in 1980s and next generation NG at the end of 1990, with the 7, the 37600, 700, 800, and 900 variants. The upgrade and improvement variants for it over the years occurred so many times. However, the basic foundation of Boeing 737 twin engine narrow body jet, short and medium range, is still kept originally. Among all the distinct variants, the Boeing 800 stands out significantly from the rest in terms of delivery numbers with a staggering total of 4,989 aircraft. The 800 variant is part of the next generation family. Introduced in 1997 with the 700 variant, this series became the best selling in the history of the 737 program, largely due to the success of the 800 variant. So why is it so popular, even more than other variants in the same family? There are many factors combined that make the 800 model the most successful aircraft variant in history. Although the 737 series ranks second in total deliveries compared to the Airbus A320, with 4,982 units delivered, 800 variant surpasses the A320-200's 4,752 units, dominating the top of the list for individual variants. Let's see what makes it so attractive. Firstly, the combination of capacity and range is a key factor. Airlines found that the Boeing 737-800, with a capacity of 162 passengers in a two-class configuration, or 189 passengers in an all-economy layout, offers optimal performance for their short to medium haul networks. Compared to the 700 variant, which only seats 126 in a two-class configuration, or 149 in an all-economy layout, the 800 variant shows a significant increase in capacity. Moreover, its ability to operate with a maximum range exceeding 3,000 nautical miles makes the 737-800 more flexible in connecting various destinations. Secondly, market demand played a crucial role. This aircraft was introduced at a time when the commercial aviation industry was experiencing rapid growth. Notably, the boom of the low-cost carrier model coincided with the arrival of the 800 model, making it the top choice for many emerging low-cost airlines, such as Ryanair. Additionally, the aircraft was also well-suited for traditional airlines, providing an efficient solution for regional routes. Thirdly, it is fuel efficiency. The Boeing 737-800 is equipped with CFM-56 engines, one of the most renowned jet engines in the aviation industry. This engine not only provides exceptional fuel efficiency, but also enhances the aircraft's operational performance compared to previous 737 models. Developed through a joint venture between General Electric and Safran Aircraft Engines, the CFM-56 has become the best-selling commercial aircraft engine of all time, widely trusted by airlines around the world. One of the standout advantages of the CFM-56 engine is its high reliability, which helps minimize maintenance and repair time. With stable performance and fewer incidents, the CFM-56 has enabled the 737-800 to achieve longer time on the wing meaning the period the aircraft can operate without requiring major maintenance. This not only saves costs for airlines, but also enhances the passenger experience as the aircraft can maintain a reliable flight schedule. Additionally, the engine is designed with advanced technologies to reduce noise and carbon dioxide emissions, contributing to the sustainability goals of the aviation industry. Lastly, low maintenance costs are one of the key reasons why it has become one of the most popular commercial aircraft. Designed with a simple and efficient structure, the aircraft allows easy access to its main components, minimizing maintenance time and costs. Many of its parts are also commonly used across other models, facilitating the supply of spare parts and repairs. Its maintenance system is optimized for a quick and efficient execution, 
thereby increasing the aircraft's operational time. This is also thanks to the CFM-56 engine mentioned above. Additionally, modern airlines use intelligent maintenance management systems to monitor performance and plan maintenance tasks, minimizing downtime. Finally, Boeing's professional training program for maintenance technicians enhances work efficiency, helping to keep maintenance costs low and optimize profitability for airlines. The key point here is that the 737-800 may not excel in any specific feature, but its adequacy across various aspects creates a harmonious variant that aligns well with the strategies of many airlines. This is why it has gained popularity. It effectively fulfills essential missions, demonstrating its versatility in a market with larger and smaller specialized aircraft. That is the reason why when the flexibility of the Boeing 737 has been proven, it becomes the deciding factor for popularity. While airlines may opt for aircraft designed specifically to carry as many passengers as possible or to achieve maximum range, the aircraft offers a perfect balance. Do you think the sufficiency of 737-800 is the main factor? The next generation aircraft offers significant improvements in interior design and outstanding fuel efficiency compared to previous generation models. These features have made the Boeing 737 models the preferred choice for many airlines due to their lower operating costs. Each variant within the four models of the next generation family is designed to accommodate a specific number of passengers and has defined range limits. So who is the operator? Although released over a quarter century ago, the Boeing 800 variant remains an integral part of many airline fleets even with the availability of the MAX models. While major airlines are incorporating newer MAX aircraft, they continue to operate a significant number of next gens. For instance, Ryanair, the giant low-cost carrier from Ireland, currently operates a fleet of 410 737 800 MES, along with over 120 retired airframes. American Airlines, based in Fort Worth, maintains a fleet of 303-800 variant aircraft. Southwest Airlines also has 205 in service, although it has a larger number of 364 of the 700 variants and 24 MAX. Furthermore, China Southern, the largest operator in Asia, operates over 150 active 737-800s and has 20 that have been retired. Finally, United Airlines has more than 140 of these aircraft and is also a major operator of the 900ER with 136 aircraft and 187 MAX. Another interesting part. Besides the most popular 737-800, which favor aircraft that Boeing still has? In second place, after the 800 variant is the MAX 8, with closing in on 1,400 deliveries. Among the two variants currently in operation in the Boeing 737 MAX family, the MAX 8 is by far the most popular. Although airlines began using it in 2017, Boeing has delivered nearly 1,400 MAX 8 aircraft to date, despite a 20-month grounding following two fatal accidents. During this downtime, many customers canceled their orders. However, demand from other airlines remains strong, allowing Boeing to find new homes for most of these aircraft. Now move to the third position, can you guess? Here's a hint. It's still from the 737 family, yes, it is the 737-700. The next generation series is currently the most popular in the 737 family. With over 7,120 orders, of which the 700 model accounts for 1,128 delivered aircraft. This series was launched in 1993, primarily to meet the growing demand for the Airbus A320. According to you, which one do you feel better about? A320 or 737-700? Share your thoughts in the comments. The fourth and fifth place were the 737-300 with over 1,000 vehicles delivered and the 200 model aircraft with 991 vehicles delivered respectively. These variants have proven their worth in the aviation market, which is why they are so popular. However, the question remains, what does the future hold for these aircraft? The tragic accidents involving the MAX 8 in 2018 and 2019, along with a series of incidents and issues related to this aircraft have severely impacted the reputation of all 737 variants. Regardless of whether they are affected models, customers have lost confidence in the safety of this 73 and Boeing's entire fleet. Additionally, the conflict between workers and Boeing has made the production process for these aircraft more challenging than ever. Aviation enthusiasts continue to hope that the manufacturer will resolve these issues swiftly to restore competition in the aviation industry, which is essential. 
Another key priority is to obtain certification for the Max 7 and Max 10 as soon as possible from the well-established 737-800, which continues to dominate fleets, to the successful Max 8 and the legacy of the 200 variant, each variant has carved out its niche in the aviation market. The 737 series not only adapts to changing demands, but also consistently delivers value through its operational capabilities. As airlines continue to rely on it for both short and long haul routes, its legacy as a staple of commercial aviation is sure to persist well into the future. What variant of 737 have you flown on? Please share your exploration in the comments. Thanks and wish you always have safe flights.